goes on inside Brother Ali during a performance. I try to always remember uh, the Creator. I try to remember the Divine when I'm performing my music. Mm -hmm. And it's always been like that. Uh, I think that uh, now I've been learning some techniques. Um, I've been studying all of this Islamic sciences more, which include the beliefs and then the practices, the, how to really pray, how to really walk, you know, cleanse ourselves, how to really, um, uh, uh, you know, how to really live this thing. But then also the internal science, which is called Tasawwuf, and that's what the Sufis. Tasawwuf. Tasawwuf, yeah. And that's, you know, you hear about Sufis. Oh, I've seen them, yeah. Yeah, the Sufis are the people who, um, and there are many different times. You see the whirling dervishes. That's one expression of, of Tasawwuf or Sufism. Uh, but there are many others, too. And, they, and they're all over. And basically, so there's the, the, um, the, uh, horizontal, which is the outward practice. There's the vertical, which is the belief system. And then the Sufism is the internal, you know what I mean? And so as I've actually started to study that more and just seek it more, um, it's been easier and easier to uh, just feel connected to the divine, which makes you feel connected to people and you know the moment, all of those things. So all of that stuff is going in my head when I'm performing. And it's interesting that you know, the, the, the Sufis and all Muslims have this thing called dhikr, which means just like remembering, remembering like mantras. They have mm. them in all religions. All mm. spiritual systems and codes have this. But it's like a mantra, kind of like a, re, a repeated things. And we actually count them. They're like specific, like numbers. And when you have a shake, they'll give you something that's specifically for you. Mm -hmm. um, so if your person is very hard on yourself, one of the names of God is Latif, uh, like Queen Latifah. She's named after that. You know mm. what I mean? Um, so that Latif means the part of God's personality that's very gentle. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if we're rough on ourselves or we're rough with people, then uh, Sheikh might tell you, um, you know, after your morning prayer or something like that, say, yeah, Latif, um, a thousand times. You know what I mean? And so somebody will have beads or they'll count it on their fingers. Yeah, Latif, yeah, Latif, yeah, Latif, yeah, Latif. And it's interesting, like I meet with Sufis, and um, some really serious ones, and I'm having a conversation with them, and they got their beads, mm -hmm. and I'm, you know what I mean, and I can tell they're making vicar while I'm talking to them. Mm -hmm. And at mm -hmm. first, I felt a little funny, like, why would you do that? Like, I'm, I, you know what I mean. And then a friend of mine actually said, is, who's a, a Sufi and a performer, he's my favorite performer in the world. His name is Amir Suleiman. Um, he was saying, you know how sometimes you're on stage and you're performing, but there's a part of your brain that's thinking about. What am I going to do after this? There's a Euro spot across the street. Uh, they have pizza here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. is, you know what I mean? I think I'm going to do so-and-so. Wait, what shoes do I have on? Okay, but you know what I mean? Like you're thinking about something totally different. There's mm -hmm. always, you know, your outer consciousness and then your inner, inner consciousness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, more and more when I perform, I'm trying to uh, do the vicar when I perform. Lately I change, nowadays I embrace it all Beautiful ideals and amazing flaws Gotta care enough to give a testament About the deeply depressed mess we're in It's home, so we better make the best of it